Uh, welcome to another video in the, this series, uh, updating uh, a previous uh, series that I did for Fantasy Grounds Classic on effects for the 5th edition uh, rule set. Um, we're going to look in this video at effects timing, uh, which we've sort of covered slightly in previous videos, but not in any great detail. Uh, so let's uh, get Bob up. We've, as usual, had a, created a little power group here. Um, and we're just going to add uh, a simple effect in the usual way by right clicking uh, add action add effect and then open up our dialog and we're just going to give the uh, or create the effect of advantage to attack rolls and we're going to leave everything else uh, as it is uh, in this dialog and then we pop up the combat tracker bob's already there and we mentioned this a number of times that uh, effects won't uh, work uh, unless the character is on the uh, combat tracker. So now we got uh, everything in place uh, and if Bob was now to try and apply this effect by clicking on the running man icon we get a message to say that there is an effect but nothing has happened in the combat tracker. Uh, and this is because we've set the targeting to targets uh, but Bob hasn't actually targeted uh, anything uh, here in the combat tracker. So if uh, Bob is now uh, going to uh, target a couple of orcs by holding down the control key and then clicking on the little portrait here, um, he's now got two, two orcs targeted and when he applies the effect, then the effect will apply to both the orcs that he has targeted. Uh, and uh, we can see that uh, both of these orcs now have advantage on their uh, attack rolls. Now this might not be exactly what we wanted to do. Uh, we might not really want to give the uh, orcs advantage on attack rolls. We may have wanted uh, Bob to get the advantage. And so this is where obviously we would set the targeting uh, in the uh, dialogue here to self. Um, and now when we apply the effect the effect actually goes on to a uh, bob, which is probably where we intended it to have uh, to be in the first place. Um, if we just uh, clean this uh, up a little bit. Um, now, despite uh, the targeting being set to uh, self uh, or targets, um, we can still set an effect on any character that we want to simply by dragging and dropping it. So at the moment we've got um, our advantage attack and it's set to self and if we click the running icon as we saw this will apply the effect to Bob. But supposing that uh, Bob actually wanted to apply the effect to Jane here then uh, he can do so without necessarily changing any of this to targets or without necessarily targeting Jane. He can just simply drag the effect here and apply it uh, to Jane by dropping it on her in the combat tracker. Uh, or uh, it will also work if dropped onto the token on a map. Um, so it doesn't really matter if we change this to uh, targets, for example, um, then even though Bob doesn't have any targets here, um, he can still actually apply this effect to any character on the combat tracker simply by dragging and dropping it. So um, even if you have an effect which has got a, a specific targeting, um, you can still apply the effect to another uh, character or another actor on the combat tracker uh, by uh, dragging and dropping it. You don't need to have a target uh, for an effect to be applied if it's if it's uh, the targeting is targets. And uh, similarly, uh, if the targeting is self, you can still apply the effect to another character. So that's really the uh, simplest and most common cases uh, where effects would be applied. You either have it uh, applying to self or you have it applying to uh, targets. Um, but supposing there's a situation where uh, Bob uh, might have an effect uh, which will only work against a specific target. Um, so if we go back to our advantage uh, to attack again here and we'll re uh, retarget re this to self. Now supposing Bob uh, were to get advantage against uh, orc number one here, then we could just simply apply this effect uh, and then when we make an attack roll uh, against uh, orc number one, 
we obviously get advantage because the effect is telling us so. Uh, however, uh, Bob's also getting advantage to orc number two and orc number three, and in fact, any other target that he uh, cares to uh, roll dice against. Um, specifically, in this case, we want uh, only orc one to, or we, we want Bob to only have advantage to his attack rolls uh, against orc one. So there's a number of ways we can actually achieve this. Um, we have the effect already on Bob, and if we open up the, um, the effects uh, box here on the combat tracker, um, we can see the uh, little targeting reticule uh, at the end here. And if you mouse over it, it says drag onto new effect target. So what this enables you to do is to take this effect here, which is on Bob because we set it to self, which is quite correct in this case. Uh, but we want the uh, Bob to only have advantage against Orc 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag this little targeting reticule and we're just going to drop it uh, over Orc 1. And you can see here that this changes the effect. We've got this targets Orc 1 uh, underneath it. And if we close this again, it's even more obvious. We've got in brackets target is Orc 1 advantage attack. So this this means that uh, Bob is now only going to get advantage against Orc 1 because this is where the effect is being targeted to. So right enough, if we uh, attack Orc 1 now, we are getting advantage. But if we attack Orc 2 uh, or Orc 3, we aren't getting any kind of advantage because the effect uh, isn't being uh, directed at Orc 2 and 3 or 4, only at Orc 1. So this is what we call effect targeting, and it's quite a powerful thing which you can use to specify particular targets um, that uh, have an effect uh, placed on them or uh, that the particular uh, actor uh, can have an effect uh, placed on them by uh, another uh, character. Um, so let's have a, a look at uh, another example uh, of this. Uh, supposing uh, Bob had some kind of uh, ability uh, which allowed Jane here to gain um, some kind of resistance to uh, slashing damage, uh, but only from a particular uh, orc. So we would set up the uh, effect in the normal way initially. Um, just resist and our colon and slashing. Um, and we need to set the targeting again to self because the, the uh, target here is going to be uh, Jane or some other character. And it's that character that is going to gain the benefit of this resistance. It's not going to be uh, his or her attacker. It's going to be the uh, character themselves. So we're going to set this uh, targeting to self. Uh, and we can close this. And then when Bob comes to apply the effect, uh, what he's going to do is he's going to drag and drop the effect uh, onto uh, Jane. And Jane now has the effect of resist slashing on her, and therefore she's going to resist slashing damage. So if Orc 2 were to do Jane some damage, for example, which is uh, slashing in this case, then Jane is going to resist it. However, um, we don't want any, just any orc to uh, get this, uh, uh, or uh, any orc attack to uh, get this benefit for Jane. We only want orc one uh, to be the target here. So again, what we'll do is we're going to open up uh, our effects uh, dialog here uh, on Jane, and then we're going to drag uh, this little icon, and we're going to place it uh, on orc one. And again, uh, when we close this off, we see that orc1 is the target for the resistance to the slashing. Now the resist slashing is set itself, so it's going, to, it's going to be affecting Jane, but it's only going to be affecting something which comes from the target, which is orc1. So if orc2 were to deal some slashing damage to Jane in this case, then she's going to take all the damage. But if orc1 uh, does some damage to her, and we haven't got enough room here. Here we go, I think. Um, we can see that Jane has uh, resisted the uh, slashing damage in this case. 
So it's important to uh, work out who benefits uh, from the effect and therefore where the effect needs to sit and then who the target of that effect uh, actually is. Uh, so let's uh, get rid of all of this again and we'll give you one more example. Uh, so let's supposing uh, Bob has got some kind of ability which uh, allows a character to uh, get advantage on an attack roll um, against a particular um, uh, or it, it forces a, a particular enemy to grant advantage to attacks um, to a, a particular uh, character. So it's a grant uh, advantage uh, attack. And again, we're going to be setting uh, the tower, uh, or actually we're going to leave the target here uh, at uh, targets, uh, just to illustrate this. Um, so uh, Bob's got this effect on him now. So if he now targets a uh, orc one and applies this effect, then the uh, orc one is now granting advantage to any incoming attacks. Uh, so if Bob makes an attack against uh, the uh, orc, uh, he gets advantage. And if uh, Jane uh, similarly makes an attack, then uh, he, he, she also is getting advantage. But if we wanted to limit uh, this uh, granting of advantage to just Jane, we don't want Bob himself isn't going to get this, then we do a very similar thing. We go into the orc, we open up the effects, and we drag the uh, little targeting reticule here and place it on to Jane. And this time, what we see here is the, the target or the effect is targeting Jane and is granting advantage to uh, Jane uh, on any attacks that she makes against this orc. So if Bob makes an attack against the orc, he's not getting advantage. But if Jane uh, makes the attack, then she is getting advantage. So that's effect targeting. And now you can uh, also, um, if you, let's just take this off. If we go back to our um, a grant, a, if we go back to our first effect here, the advantage attack, um, and we showed you that you can use the targeting uh, reticule, etc. Um, there is a quicker way to do it if it's um, a simple one like this, and that's simply to hold down the shift key whilst applying the effect. So if we wanted uh, Bob to only gain advantage to his attack rolls against Dark One, then we're holding down the shift key, we're grabbing this effect here, we're dragging the effect and dropping it onto Orc 1. And you can see here that in the effects dialog uh, or on the combat tracker, it's showing uh, the target as Orc 1 advantage attack. And now Bob has got advantage against the uh, Orc 1, but uh, not against Orc 2. So in some circumstances, not in every circumstance, but in some circumstances, you can use that uh, quick uh, method of applying the effect to a specific target by holding down the shift key and then dragging and dropping the effect uh, on the appropriate target. This wouldn't necessarily affect, uh, this won't necessarily work for uh, every kind of um, situation. Sometimes you'll need to apply the effect uh, and then use the targeting reticule to reapply it to a different target. So that's um, effect targeting. There are loads of examples of this in the uh, like Hunter's Mark, Hexblade, Curse and things like that um, in the uh, actual rule sets in the spells um, which use this kind of thing. So uh, once you are aware of how this all works, then you should be able to uh, work out where the effect needs to sit, uh, whether the targeting needs to be self or targets uh, and where you need to drag the effect in order for it to uh, work as expected. So that's it for this one. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers for now.